We are Bot Brigade and I am Rod. Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about this idea I just had. What I have here is my Ender 3 Pro with the Ender Extender Kit on it. And I always see a lot of people talk about, you know, direct drive. I see a lot of negative things about direct drive on the internet. But I also see a lot of positive things about it. The one positive thing I always see is that people say, oh, direct drive will take the weight off of this gantry here, this axis here, and put it on the extruder, and that will give you better prints because you won't get this, you know, layer shifting uh, from all the weight on this side. So I think that with this being an extended Ender 3, that th that might actually help this actual printer. Uh, because as you can see on this side, like a normal Ender 3, there's no motor, right, on this side. And so because it's so much longer, I think there is a lot more droop on this side. So I'm wondering if I take this out, will it improve the printing quality? And what I have made is this. So my idea is, I don't want to make this direct drive, uh, but I do want to alleviate the weight on this side. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take off the motor from this side, and I'm just going to mount it to the top here. You know, on this side. You know, just want to mount it to the top and see if that makes any difference on the printing quality. So, I've never seen anybody do this. Comment below if you have. Well, let's get to it. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. If you want to do this, here's what you got to do. You got to remove this screw first then this screw, then this screw, then underneath this, this little black thing here, there's another screw and you gotta remove that one too. And then you take it out and then you rebuild it. Now remember to keep this on this side because that's the side it came out of. Um, you gotta undo the tape here. And then just basically take out the extra wire and it reaches all the way. So I put mine right there, super close to this rod. So just enough so it doesn't touch. So if your filament isn't going easily into here anymore, then you might have to adjust this screw here because that adjusts the height of this, which is what guides the filament inside. Now the big question, did it actually make a difference? I printed an XYC cube before and after the modification. And just to be completely honest with you guys, it looks exactly the same. Uh, the print quality before was pretty good. The print quality now, still the same, pretty good. I will say this though, I noticed that the printer prints a lot smoother now. The movements are more buttery and less jerky. Also, it seems to be very level. Both sides seem to be just very, very level. Whereas before one side seemed a little bit more droopy than the other. Now they seem almost exactly the same, at least to me. Uh, so I'll leave the link to the Thingiverse below. And thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you tried this print. Um, and let me know if you like it. Thank you guys so much and have a good day.